good afternoon this is another episode of from the scratch my name is being paid with basic of qt events and i have here lady ceo e protocol planner a coordinator a venue stylist and a professional hello lady hi how are you, you doing, doing today? i'm all right thank you very well thank you so much to have you here thank you how are you feeling today i'm good 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 good, good. okay about the a to z about coordination lady is going to be running through it step by step although it's going to be very brief hi everyone as you've heard my name is Lide and um, A to Z of coordination is what we're going to talk about today so Bibi is ready for us and I am ready yes I am Lide right so what are the procedures of the new um, coordination then another level is the coordination definitely so with the coordination now um, that's like the prep you know coordination is not just at the venue what's not so the procedures we needed to talk us through is what do we do before D day? Okay. Without you know getting us ready not to get the e carbs not here for everything to run smoothly. Okay, so I will start by saying coordination is not just them um, on the day thing. Mm -hmm. For you to coordinate an event, That's right. you have to know your couple and you have to know the venue. You have to know everything about the event. Mm -hmm. So there are steps to follow. Okay. Meet your clients mm -hmm. before the day. Okay. You need to have a meeting with them to know their plans, mm -hmm. the vendors they, they've gotten before for okay. their venue. Okay. So whichever vendor you've chosen, you know, to work with, all we have to do is just coordinate them. We already know, you know, what you want. Lydia's Lide, job for the coordinator <laughs> will be to make sure that they deliver what you've paid them to. Yeah? Definitely. Right. Okay. So when you meet with um, your clients, mm -hmm. have a meeting. Okay. Let them give you the list of all the vendors. Okay. You go and visit the venue, mm -hmm. see what it looks like okay. with your clients, with your client. Because at the end of the day, you want mm -hmm. to make your clients comfortable. Okay. You want to make their guests comfortable as well. So when you visit the venue, you have a meeting, visit the venue, know where to put what. Because on the day, mm -hmm. you are going to be the one meeting with the vendors at the venue exactly. because your clients will be getting ready. Exactly. And that is where we don't want any clashes or e or anything going on. So that's the first thing you do. That's the first thing you do. What about on the day? So when that is done, on the day, yeah. as the coordinator, mm -hmm. you're going to work for at least 10 hours. Trust me. Ten hours. Yes. On your feet? Yes, on your feet. So no heels. As a coordinator, <laughs> I will tell you, make sure you have comfortable shoes on. Comfortable right. outfits mm -hmm. because you have to be able to do everything at the same In time. time. Oh, wow. You don't want your event to flop at okay. all. Going forward mm -hmm. on the day, mm -hmm. get to the venue mm -hmm. before. Okay. I'm stressing this out. Yeah. Before, before any vendor or any right. guest. Mm -hmm. okay. So when you get there, mm -hmm. of course you know this. Oh, please. <laughs> When you get there, mm -hmm. make sure yeah. your decorator is on time, okay. the catcher is on time, mm -hmm. your photographer is on time. Key, key people like that, okay. they have to be on time because okay. if, the, if, the, if the all is not ready, my yeah. dear, how will your clients or guests enjoy okay. themselves? Okay, so in terms of that um, photographer, like you said, if say, for instance, it's a wedding, okay, um, the bride will probably want one of them to be you know with her and another so in that case you know we always say when you go for your media always make sure that you're going for a group yeah it's always you know don't get one person to do the vi video with the other one to do just pictures when you get a group that way they're able to merge and you know together make sure well. everything yeah. works yeah. so that is that with your photographers definitely okay. so for weddings for, for example, weddings like yes. she said mm -hmm. if one of the team is with the bride and groom mm -hmm. one is at the hall mm -hmm. prepping Prepping. Exactly, because okay. once the decorator is finished, for example, yeah, you want the you want your clients mm. to see the whole beautifully decorated before yeah. guests come in to see them. So once yeah. one, if the photographer is there on time, mm. he or she takes a picture okay. before your clients before come your in. Clients That's come the essence of the photographer. Okay. So that is that with the coordinator arriving well well early before. because before you want you want the hall to be beautifully decorated. Yeah, decorated you want the servers mm -hmm. to be on time as well mm -hmm. so that the food plan, area, the everything plan, everything the is on the table where it should be exactly but if sense. you as a coordinator mm -hmm. if you're late mm -hmm. please tell me how would the event run? how would it like, we avoid clashing with satisfying your clients and then avoiding offending their guests that's not professional. It's, 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 it's challenging. And I'll tell you how that is challenging. I've had a series of events whereby the bride will say, no, nobody sits on that first table. Nobody does that. 
you know and then you have the guests that arrive you're trying to tell them nicely you know you start saying i'm so sorry ma i will find an alternative like people don't they don't take it lightly trust me you know i'll find an alternative seat i will da 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 da, da. this is you still trying to please your client definitely. but they're not offending your guests definitely. okay but then it now gets to that point where that guest is not having it and then you're your clients now end up saying, oh, you know what, just, you know, don't worry, let them just sit down there. How does that work? Like, sometimes they're like, so why did you give me that rule? If we knew we were still going to bend it, you know, explain that bit to me. Because I, as any, trust me, it's not how many years I've, I've been doing this. It's just an everyday thing and it still happens every day. It's still going to happen tomorrow. It's challenging. How do we deal with That's that? That's the honest truth. But then, it's possible to adjust and deal with it. With professionalism, and when, professionalism. when you do it every time, yes. there's a way to go around it. Okay. I'll give you an example. Mm. Educate me. <laughs> I still struggle. If it's with a wedding, that. yeah, and the bride and groom wants to see their decor mm -hmm. before any guest comes in, okay, and for example, things happen and they're mm -hmm. running late. That's there's right. traffic, yeah, and people have been waiting. Mm -hmm. We want to go in. We want to go in, and you still want to satisfy the bride and the groom. So. From experience. Bear, bear, bearing in mind that even the decorator setting up has asked for an X number of hours of course, to set up. Of course. And she still has time. And she still but has then you time. have clients, uh, you have <laughs> Waiting a guest outside. that wants to come in. <laughs> That's why I said it's very challenging. Oh, God. But then, for the example I was given before, mm -hmm. when that happened to me, okay. all I did mm -hmm. was use my knowledge to say, extend the cocktail hour. Hmm. Extend, extend the, the cocktail hour. hour let the dj mm. do something let the mc entertain them outside mm. okay so they they got distracted the guests mm. got distracted okay and the cocktail hour was elongated mm. we had time to wait for the bride and the groom okay and thing run everything runs smoothly, smoothly. so that's, that's that's an example okay that makes a whole lot of sense i, I um i think with me i probably will go sorry ma <laughs> Sorry, please just give me 30 minutes to take my pictures please now and i'm telling you they wouldn't have any choice than to just laugh like okay 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 okay, okay. you, you know we have, have it, different have ways of you dealing with this thing me. i yeah, will go on my knees like we do please i've been prepping for this wedding please. for months i want it to be perfect do you know what i mean you know because um in as much as you want to please your client you want to make the guest happy as well and what about you as a vendor? You have your own needs as well. You've put a lot of effort into it. And, you know, at the end result, what we look at is the pictures. And I would say strike a balance. Strike a balance. You know, that that, that balance is sometimes it's what key. we find no, it's key. challenging, but yeah. it's got to be. When you have to stand your ground, mm. darling, you have to stand you have your to. ground. Mm. It's very necessary and important to and stand important. your ground. Mm. After some time, they yeah. will see reasons with you. When you explain hmm. in a way that they will yeah. understand, they will. Yeah. Most okay. of the people will deal with them. Okay. I know. Okay, but you know, we don't. But sometimes we have challenging clients. I must oh, lay that out there. They don't want to have we it do. like you we know. Do. But we still love you as our clients. Contact us, you know. But you know, it's just what we have to go through. Every it's now what we have to then. go through. It's part yeah, of the job. Of course. Okay. So the next one now. This one is a bit tricky. Is dealing with your vendors. You know, the different set of vendors. Yes. There's some vendors whereby you as a planner and coordinator, you've brought them on board. Yeah. So that way you kind of have your own team that you're used to. Yeah. And there's some vendors that, you know, you're the one that has to say to them, you know, a week before, like, hello, hi, my name is Lydie of the protocol <laughs> I'm going to be the coordinator. Already, mm, I'm a bit on the defense, like, mm. We should. <laughs> Please don't. Put, I've already met my bride. Like you didn't even bring the job to me, and you know it kind of feels like mm, what's she on about. But mm. honestly, that is the truth. It happens. If you didn't bring me on board, I can still work with you. But then I think the peace of mind is knowing that there's someone you know coordinating. There's someone. Don't see that coordinator as someone that is going to be telling you, oh, put this there, put that there. No. But as you know, teamwork. Uh, teamwork, teamwork, the middleman between teamwork. you and your client, teamwork. you know, rather than calling your bride, hello, I can't find this, hello, your venue's not open, you go to your coordinator, you go to your coordinator. that's the work you know? of a coordinator, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the mm -hmm. coordinators are there to satisfy both the clients and to make the guests comfortable, comfortable. whatever the clients want, they've spoken yeah. to the coordinator, mm -hmm. they've given them the picture of the day, mm -hmm. so I would advise vendors, yeah. please, when you have a coordinator on the day, yeah. 
let us walk hand in hand with and them. Because hand. at the end of the day, mm. little little drops make a mighty ocean. Yes. So let's work together as together. one. Because mm. we are all aiming to satisfy our clients. Yes, that's right. But the day is yeah. going to make our job and life easier. Easier. That's right. Okay. So finally, what advice do you have for your future clients? You know, they're planning an event. What's the importance? Like, why do I have to pay somebody X amount of money just, you know, <laughs> just to tell them what to do? I've already told them what I want. Why do I have to pay that extra? You know, future brides, future events. What's the essence of it? What's the importance? I would say you don't want to keep checking your watch. Mm. You don't want to keep looking at the back. Mm. Is the food here? Mm. Oh, is the DJ here? Okay. You don't want to be on your phone. You want to mm. relax. You want, you want to, to look relax. good. Okay. That's the essence of a coordinator mm. or a planner. Mm. You want to sit back and enjoy your day. Enjoy You're your supposed day. to come to your event mm. and enjoy, not as a host, running yes, up, and down. up and down. That's why you pay coordinators. Exactly. That's why you pay planners, planners. for you to enjoy your day. Mm. Professional planners and coordinators mm. will make sure everything is done and they would not leave anything for you to do at the end of your event. Event. Trust mm. me, we have a lot of clients yeah. that after their event, they start sweeping. They start clearing yes. up. You don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. You've paid. Yes. When you're done with your event, you want mm. to walk out of the hall. Yeah, that's To it. go and enjoy Let and the money relax. Speak. Let your money work for, for you. you. That's right. Okay. So, um, concluding this episode, um, just keep me once... Because, you know, she's a professional. I still got to ask this question. I might not get this chance again. Okay, what's the difference? I, I In my own opinion, I feel that um, it's easier when you let, when you choose a vendor yeah. that can do your planning and coordinating as to if you're getting A to do the planning, you're getting B to do the coordinating. Hmm. You know, I, I feel that there's a, there's a balance there. When you plan, you already, you know, you know what you're walking towards. Um, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Let's throw this out. Okay. If the client is planning, mm. it's different. Okay. But if you're not the one planning, mm. why get a planner separate from a coordinator? From a coordinator. If they've planned it, let them coordinate the day. Yes. Because they started from the scratch. Exactly. But as a client, if you planned it mm. yourself, yourself, you know the vendors you want. You don't want anyone to exactly. go... Go up you just want them to come that you just want them to coordinate it. then i would say mm. get a coordinator okay. if you've planned it get a coordinator but, yeah, if you've planned it okay. but okay. if you have a planner mm. please please and please mm. don't get a separate coordinator yeah because the planner started from the scratch, from the scratch. they've laid the foundation let yes. them put the roof on top of it mm. it's the best okay yeah. it's the best. and for coordinators mm -hmm. i would say there's some essential kits you need to hold on to on the day on the day if it's mm. a wedding, for example, anything yeah. can happen, you know. Yes. Anything can happen. No matter Your how. Your sewing kit hmm. is key. So Straightener yeah. is, key. is key. And cream. Mm. Because you don't want your bride to walk out. Yeah. And then at the back of their leg is dry. Right. Step in. Mm. For any client at all. At all. Even if it is birthday. Mm. Even if it is mm. anything. And I think with, um, with the planning and coordinating bit, obviously, it's not just you. It's You're going to have you. a team of professionals. 100%. So you all kind of like, you know, divide yourselves here and there. You can't do it Someone alone. with the bride, someone at the venue, you know, it's not just one person. You know, that is why you need one person to do the whole thing if you want them to plan the whole thing. Just yeah, I Give agree. them the chunk, you know, give Believe them the money. Them. Believe Walk them. into your venue, have fun, work out. You know the days and whoever you've given the job to make mm. sure you trust them trust is because there's important. no point social media oh social media <laughs> social media it's has key it's key but you know this it's, is why i always say careful. we all have pictures to show but when it comes to being you know under pressure how many of us can still be calm and still get to deliver trust me it's hard it's hard. Social media. Social is, media pressure is is, is very high. It's there. very high. Don't fall for Don't it. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. That's right. Right. Thank you so much, Lide. Thank you so Thank so you much for, for joining me. me today. You know, I've known Lide for how many years now? Like it's been over nine years. Ten over years. nine yeah. years. Over nine years. Like uh, she's a good person. Oh, I'll say that she has a very good heart. Please, and I would say um, the reason why I have our this show today is because when I started this business, even as a venue stylist. Um, you used to stop me out with my <laughs> coordinating with my staff, with my, you know, that peace of mind, you know. Has always been there. Has always been there. Again, that is CEO of e-protocol event, planning, styling. Thank you very much.
everything we supply your hostesses as well everything 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 (laughs) everything. ceo e-protocol thank Thank you you so much